there, I'm Vicky Amstey, founder here at Barwork Studio in Richmond. We were the original bar and ballet studio set up over 10 years ago, so if this is your first foray into bar, you've come to the right place and we're just delighted um, in the current circumstances, however tough they are, to be able to open our doors up to a wider audience. So thank you, Fit and Well, for inviting me to create this exclusive content for your followers. I'm gonna take you through um, a short um, ad blast um, and often we think about all of our abdominal work being on the floor uh, and usually on our backs. Um, so I'm going to show you something a little bit different today that is really taxing on the core but uh, also quite, pretty tough on your whole body and you're not going to be lying on your back, you're going to be kneeling on the floor. So I'm using a set of weights, I have two and a half kilo weights here you could use something slightly lighter than that, probably wouldn't go heavy in that unless you know your core is really, really strong. So, I'm going to start up kneeling really upright uh, with the other leg coming out to the side, foot to the floor, and a point my toe in true uh, ballerina style. And I'm going to try and maintain a really strong column here through this left side of my body. So, knee in line with the hip, the hip in line with the shoulder. Standing or kneeling tall, um, not tipping forward. So I'm just going to pick up my weights and begin to bring the arms to the side. From there, I'm just going to tip and come back up. And again, I'm going to tip and come back up. So it's important that my hips here don't move at all. Lots of tension running through. Feel 
you know, your effects into the whole body. Make sure you're taking that pause, bracing, lifting, and then you can come all the way back up. And if you wish, take a few more rotations just to finish up. Keep it smooth, keep it controlled. Make sure that every time you're coming right up into a fully extended position, knee, hip, shoulder in line. And release down. So you should really feel that into the side of the body here. You may have run a little into towards the back, that's okay. Don't worry too much about that. We're gonna take the other leg out on the other side, and again, float the arms. You shouldn't feel too much effect from your arms holding the weights, unless they're really, really, really heavy. And I would advise just going with a light weight to start with. So the arms stay in that perfect long straight line. Keeping them straight, keeping them in line, keeping your shoulders square, hips square, 